Hi, uh, my name's Caleb, and this is my wife, Sage. And this is the third Sunday of That's right. So uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about Advent and in Sunday school. We went over uh, love and how it relates to Advent, the excitement of getting ready for uh, Christmas, where we're celebrating that Jesus did come to Earth, but also that he's coming again. Uh, so some of the topics that we went over were that um, there's the excitement of looking forward to Jesus coming and restoring Earth, restoring his people, um, saving people from their suffering, saving people from their sins. But we also look back at how uh, the first time Jesus came to Earth was to be born a baby, live a perfect life, and then die for their sins. And so we're just reminded of God's perfect love for us, that it is a transforming love. It's not satisfied with leaving us in our sins. It's not satisfied with just making us happy in our own little way. It wants to perfect us, change us, purify us, and um, that's what the Bible is all about. Is uh, That's why man was made, was that God would love us and love us in a, his perfect way, um, even when that doesn't always line up with how what we want. But we're reminded as parents that um, our children don't always know what they want or what they need. And if we let them have exactly what they want, they'd be, they'd be very hurt <laughs> or dead because uh, they want to do crazy things like ride their bikes down the stairs. So the love of God is a, mis is a mysterious thing. It's an amazing thing. And it's something that we can get excited about in this season and, and look forward to and learn about. So, um, yeah, I just love this time of year because we're all focused on it. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. And you talked about how God gave us illustrations to help us understand his love. So um, he talks about how we are friends, friends of God, um, that we are sons and daughters of God. Um, he gives us an illustration of husband and wife representing uh, Christ in the church. Um, so he gives us many ways to try to understand just um, the greatness of his love for us. Yeah. It's a pretty amazing love that needs multiple relationships to be kind of just under, like that we can understand it as humans. How can we understand something so divine and so eternal? God gives us all these different natural relationships in order to break it down for us. And so um, it's, it's exciting as we uh, anticipate this.